Today, I'm gonna to be giving you a look at Emmons Preserve here in Market Common, which is a section of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Hey, Nick Pelosi here, and as I mentioned, today we're gonna to be taking a look at Emmons Preserve, which is a community on the outskirts of Market Common here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. You're just about a five minute golf cart ride to the center of Market Common, which is a mini little town center here in Myrtle Beach that is known for its great little boutique shops and awesome restaurants. Market Common is sandwiched between Business 17 and 17 Bypass. On a good day, you can get to the airport in less than 10 minutes. On that same good day, you're just a five minute drive to Myrtle Beach State Park, which Side note, you can get access to all of the state parks in South Carolina for $95 annually. We have two awesome parks here in the Myrtle Beach area. Right next to Myrtle Beach State Park, you also have public beach access at the Spring Maid Pier. So I think it goes without saying that this community is in a prime location and it is also home to some great amenities such as a resort style, a swimming pool, nature trails, and they even have some turf putting greens. Emmons Preserve does have townhomes, they have patio homes, which they refer to as carriage homes, and I'll point out to you what that looks like while we're going through the community. And of course, they also have a single family homes. Recent sales for the townhomes have gone from the high $200,000 mark to the mid $300,000 mark and recent sales for the homes have gone from the mid to high $300,000 mark all the way up to the high $400,000 mark, really just under $500,000. Now those single family home sales that have been in the mid to high $300,000 mark have been those carriage homes that I just mentioned. And with that being said, go ahead and hit that like button and let's go ahead and take a look at this community. Okay, so we're starting this tour here on Coventry Boulevard coming from 17 Bypass. And we're gonna make a left-hand turn here into the first section of Emmons Preserve. And the first thing that I wanna point out when we're pulling in is this big open field or park area here. Across the other side of the field, you can see there's a pavilion and some pergolas. Back there are some fire pits, the outdoor kitchens, and within this field area here is where you're gonna have those turf putting greens. And I wanna point out that on the right side of the street here, you do have townhomes, and on the left side, you do have single family homes. The townhomes are what back right up to Coventry Boulevard. Now, the other section of Emmons Preserve is across the other side of Coventry Boulevard and we will be driving through that section today as well. There is a third section back behind this section we're in right now as well, which is the small section. We're not gonna be driving through that section today. Okay, and we are looping around. We're coming back up on this park area. You get a little better glimpse of the pergola and the pavilion there where the fire pits and kitchen are. And I'm gonna speed this up a little bit as we come back around all this and head down this road here. As you can see, as we're a little bit deeper in the community, we have single family homes on both sides. The townhomes just line the street that are on Coventry Boulevard. We're actually gonna get a good glimpse of that here when we come around the corner. And what you're gonna be seeing when we come around is four garages in the front, and then there's another building in the back. Now these garages are not actually attached to the townhomes themselves. They all have doors on the back side of them and there's a courtyard there that'll take you to the front of your townhome. So that's how these townhomes work. So it's definitely a little bit unique, but it's cool at the same time because you do have that little courtyard section. It's like your little private yard there between the garage and the townhome itself. So we're gonna be heading out of this section of Emmons Preserve here and you're actually gonna get a glimpse of the townhomes across the street, same sort of setup. The row on the street is townhomes. You can see there's front doors of the place there facing the street, and on the back side you have another door, the courtyard, and then the garage. So I'm gonna speed this up here as we head down Coventry Boulevard, and I wanna point out right when we turn into this section here, there is another type of home. It is a patio home, or they actually call them carriage homes here 
in Emory's Preserve. And I'm actually gonna freeze the frame here real quick. You can see the driveway heads down the middle of the homes. The homes face each other. And there's actually four homes that share those driveways there for those patio or carriage homes. So on the left side of the street here, you have all those carriage homes. And on the right side here, you have the townhomes. So definitely a bit of a unique setup here, but it's pretty cool that you have so much variety within this community, right? You have the townhomes, you have the patio homes, and then you have the single family homes. I do want to mention for the townhomes and the patio homes, the HOA dues are $250 a month. With those homes, you do get some landscaping and exterior maintenance of the building. That's why the HOA dues are a little bit higher. For the single family homes, the HOA dues are $80 a month. You do not get the landscaping or the exterior maintenance. Now, you did see this big lake here in the center of the community. That's something that is pretty cool about this community is the retention ponds are not in the center of the homes. They're actually in the front of the homes. So everybody can get out and walk around and enjoy the lakes, which is pretty neat if you ask me. Now for those HOA dues, you do get some nature trails within the community, as well as I'm sure you can see, there are tons of sidewalks throughout this entire community as well, which is super nice. There is a lakefront pool, which is very nice and amenity center, which we're gonna be coming up here in a second. As you can see, here is the second big lake within the community. Again, the sidewalks around that entire thing. And on the opposite end here that we're driving towards, that is where your pool and amenity center are. Within there, there is a small fitness room. There's a dog park. There's those turf putting greens again that we saw earlier. There's the pavilions and outdoor kitchen areas and fire pits. And real quick here, let me give you a quick glimpse of this pool and amenity center. So here you can see of some picnic tables and charcoal grills and a little playground. And again, the nice resort style pool, the pool house, the amenity center with the fitness room, just very nice amenities here in Emmons Preserve. And you get all of these amenities on top of being super close to Market Common itself and all of the great features that come along with that, right? So you have the mile long loop around the massive lake there. You have Savannah's Playground, all the little shops and restaurants. Again, everything great that comes with living in Market Common. And that is just a quick golf cart ride away. If you wanted to drive with your car, it's less than five minutes. You could probably even walk there too. It's probably a good 20 to 30 minute walk, but not too bad at all. So we're just gonna head down some more of these side streets here. And at some point we're actually getting into Park Place. I actually didn't even realize that these communities attach together until I was driving through them today. But it's actually neat because you get to come up on the back side of Market Common where the baseball fields are without having to get onto Coventry Boulevard. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. So I'm not even sure where it goes from being Emmons Preserve to Park Place, but I do know at this point here in the tour we are within a Park Place. And I do want to mention really briefly that Park Place does have its own amenities and its own pools and everything. So if you're starting to think this is a lot of homes to be sharing that pool there at Emmons Preserve, that is not the case. Again, they do have their own set of amenities. And now we are coming up on the back end of Market Common here. You can start to see those field lights there for the baseball fields in the background. And we're going to make a left here on this street. And this is what is going to take us to Faro Parkway. So I am going to speed things up here as we pass all the baseball fields and soccer fields on the right. This way I can show you just how close we are to the center of Market Common. So here we are pulling up to Faro Parkway. And as we make a right onto this street, we have the big lake at Market Common on the right with the sidewalks all the way around it. Right to the left here, you have 810 Bowling Alley. And then directly ahead, we're coming up on all the shops and restaurants and everything great you have about Market Common right in the backyard of Emmons Preserve. 
Okay, I hope that you enjoyed that tour. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions about this community or the Myrtle Beach area in general, there's a link down in the description where you can contact me. Feel free to reach out for any questions or comments that you may have. Again, my name is Nick and I'm a real estate agent here in the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area. And this channel is dedicated to helping you relocate here to the area. On this channel, I talk about things to do here. I give tips and advice about the area. And of course, I talk about the real estate. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell while you're at it. I post on this channel weekly. And if you hit those two buttons, you'll be notified every single time that I post a new video. I will also have a link down in the description if you're interested in staying up to date with homes that are for sale in Emmons Preserve. At the time of making this video, there are no homes for sale in this community, but if you click that first link down in the description, you can stay up to date with what is going on. I also recommend checking out some of my past videos on this channel. I have tons of great content. I recommend starting with this one right here. It's all about Market Common. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.